Well, you're dialing around on HF and you hear that rare DX station calling CQ on 14195. Great, I can hear him. But nobody's going back to him and you wonder why. And then you hear him say he's listening up. Now what that means is he's operating split. Operating split means that he's listening on a different frequency than he's transmitting. So in this video we're going to take a look at uh, how to operate split and give you some tips and tricks on how to be successful and working that rare DX station who's listening up. Now, of course, the more official name for operating split is duplex. And again, duplex simply means that you're transmitting and receiving on different frequencies. You'll also hear terms called full duplex. Where that means you're transmitting and receiving on different frequencies at the same time. Or half duplex, where you're transmitting and receiving on different frequencies one at a time. One of the most common applications for duplex, especially for new operators, is operating through repeaters, where you're talking through a repeater that's listening on one frequency and transmitting on another. So the repeater in that case is actually operating in full duplex mode, where when you're transmitting, you're transmitting on one frequency and the other guy's listening on the output frequency, and then vice versa when the communication's going the other way. So each of you operating half duplex the same thing can be applied when talking about operating through amateur radio satellites. You're transmitting on the input frequency of the satellite or the uplink frequency, and the satellite is transmitting on its downlink frequency. The biggest difference between a repeater operation and satellite operation, other than the obvious that one of them is in space, is that a repeater typically operates at, on the same band, like a 2 meter band, so 2 meter uplink, 2 meter downlink, whereas the satellite operation is typically a different band for uplink and downlink. You might have VHF or UHF uplink and then maybe UHF or VHF on the downlink for example. But otherwise it's still the same scenario. The satellite is operating in full duplex and you're operating your earth stations in half duplex mode. Now what about HF operation? The vast majority of HF communications is done via simplex where you and whoever you're talking to are basically talking on the same frequency. Occasionally, though, there is some duplex operating, and on HF we refer to this as working split. You'll usually come across stations working split when it's a rare or very highly desired DX station, uh, mainly when you're going to get a lot of pileups or a lot of people are calling that station at the same time. And of course, if he was operating simplex, too many calling stations are going to interfere with efficient operation. You might have you know, 100 guys calling on the same frequency, and it would be impossible to pick out one particular station. So by listening on different frequencies, the DX and everyone else can hear better. So oftentimes, it'll say he's listening up, or listening up 5, or listening up 5 to 10. What does that mean? So if that DX station is operating on 14195 upper sideband, as you can kind of see this is the spectral space that he's occupying here. And if he says he's listening up 5, that means he's listening at 14200, so he's listening to stations calling here. Now, of course, if everybody's calling there, he's still going to have a hard time hearing all of them, but you still have the advantage of being able to hear when the DX station is calling CQ and when he's listening, so that you know when to be quiet while he's talking, and then as soon as he finishes calling CQ, you can then go ahead and call. And it may be up to him to try to pick out a station listen, you know, that's calling there to work back and forth. But uh, where if you didn't operate split, people might not be able to hear the fact that the DX station has picked up somebody, and then everybody is still talking on top of him. So operating split can really help on the DX station side, and to help you know, set the choreography of the calling station and uh, people trying to work him. When it's a really rare DX entity, he may have a lot of people calling him. Could be hundreds of people calling him. And oftentimes the, he will then say, I'm listening 5 to 10 up, in which case he might be listening from 14200 to 14205. But you don't know exactly where. And he's doing that so that everybody who's calling him gets spread out a little bit. And he can listen around and tune up or down to try to pick out one station to return, his, return a call to. And by doing that, he doesn't have everybody landing on top of each other. and makes it easier for him to find somebody to make a contact with. So this tends to minimize the overlap of all of the calling stations trying to reach that DX station, but also presents one more challenge on your side to be able to work that station. So let's look at a couple of tips on how to address that situation. Now most HF rigs have got two VFOs to help you operate split. You use one VFO to set your receive frequency, the other one to set your transmit frequency, and you set the rig to split mode. 
Another way to do this is to use the RIT, or Receive Incremental Tuning, which will move your receive frequency away from your transmit frequency. But the most common way to do it is to use the two VFOs in your radio. Now, even with that, there are some specific keys to think about to help you with your success. Probably the most important one is to try to figure out where the DX is listening. So he's listening five to 10 up, everybody's calling him, then you hear him answer to some station. So while, when he answers that station and turns it back to him, quickly go up and tune around through this area to see if you can hear the station that he's working, because then you know where the DX was listening. So that as soon as that exchange is finished, you can transmit right at that same frequency before he has a chance to tune around again, thus increasing your chance to work that rare DX station. Now this is where it's very important to learn your rig so you can very efficiently switch back and forth between these two operating frequency ranges uh, very quickly, tune around here without disturbing your transmit frequency. Now, of course, some rigs have features to help you out with this. Uh, many rigs, especially the modern rigs, actually have dual receivers. So you can actually listen to both areas at the same time. So you don't have to worry about fiddling back and forth or switching between the A and B receivers. You can actually listen to both simultaneously. So that's actually the easiest way to go try to hear who that guy is working. Now, if you're not lucky enough to have a rig that has dual receivers, uh, most will still have ways of momentarily switching between the A and B VFOs. On some rigs, this might be a, be a button called TF set for transmit frequency set, or maybe the, there's maybe some offset controls in the radio. We'll take a look at a couple of examples. The best advice is to lock the receive frequency. So, so that even if you're spinning the dial and we switch back to the receive frequency, it doesn't change. So you don't move off of where the DX is transmitting. And then tune the TX frequency while uh, the DX is listening for that DX uh, to hear who he's hearing. So let's take a look at a couple of examples of different rigs and how these controls work. All right, so here's how you set up operating split on my Kenwood TS870. Uh, the two VFOs are listed here, VFO A and B. This, this column stands for the receive VFO, this is the transmit VFO, A and B are here and here. There's also a third set for memory channels. We're just going to deal with these four buttons right here. So the A equals B, pushing that button will equalize the A and B VFO so they're both at the same frequency. And to operate split, we simply select a different VFO for transmit in the transmit column here. So now we have the transmit frequency here, the receive frequency there, and it says split on the, on the display. At this point, you want to go over here and hit the F lock, or frequency lock button. And what that will do, it turns on the frequency lock for the main or receive VFO. Changing the VFO knob, now it does not change the receive frequency. He, right here, we see this button says TF set. That's my transmit frequency set. So by pushing that button, we'll see that these two will change spots. You really can't tell when they're the same frequency. But when I push it, you can actually see the LEDs change here. Okay, if I push that button, we can see we're swapping the A and B VFOs. So by swapping that, I can now turn and change my transmit frequency without changing my receive frequency. So now it's very easy for me to go in and say tune around between 200 and 205. So I'll listen for the DX, see who he's working, push this button and diddle the knob to see who he's talking to, go back and listen to the DX, and back and forth. Once I find the guy he's listening to, so I know what frequency he's listening to, as soon as he's done talking, you can key up and pounce on him. So Kenwood engineered this pretty nicely that the lock only applies to the AVFO and not to the transmit side to make it very easy to tune around the transmit side without disrupting the receive frequency. Let's take a look at how this works on my ICOM 703, which is basically the same as the venerable ICOM 706. Menu item M1 gives you the controls that you need for operating split. This button here allows you to switch into split mode. This button allows you to switch between the A and B VFOs, and XFC stands for Transmit Frequency Check. By pushing and holding the AB button, you equalize the A and B VFOs, you make them the same. So we dial around and tune to the receive frequency where the DX is transmitting, and we can hit the lock button here to lock that in place. So now that doesn't change. So from here we can hit the split key, 
This will now cause us to receive on the AVFO and transmit on the BVFO. We can hit the transmit frequency check to see the BVFO. We can see that right now it's the same, but if I dial the VFO knob up, I can see my transmit frequency now increasing. This radio is kind of nice because it not only shows you the absolute transmit frequency, but also shows you how far up you are from the receive frequency. So if the DX says he's listening up 5, you can dial this simply to 5 kilohertz. So you can, now you're, you're going to be transmitting up 5 without having to do the math to calculate what your transmit VFO should be. And of course, since we have the lock function enabled, we're not going to accidentally change our receive frequency, so we're always going to be able to listen to the, v, to the DX, and only when I hit my transmit frequency check button will the knob actually change where I'm transmitting. Similar to what we had shown on the Kenwood, we can listen to the DX station as soon as he returns a call to somebody. We can quickly push the XFC and tune around to see if we can hear that guy he's talking to. So then now you know where the DX is listening. As soon as he finishes, you can uh, give him a call on the same frequency that he was listening to with the last guy and you have a better chance of working him. So I hope this short video has given you a little bit better idea of what operating split is. And when you hear that rare DX station say he's listening up 5 to 10, now you know how to go attack it, how to figure out who he's listening to, and have a better shot of working him yourself. Thanks again as always for watching. If you like the video, uh, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please consider doing so. And we look forward to seeing you again next time. Thanks again.